previously. This energy of her, this Ferris wheel, was a good idea. She's a pop on the tar fast. Nobody, but nobody suspects a thing. But still, is it gonna be enough to get things ready for my opera recital? Well, uh, when the people come to see me sing, I wanna make a show. They keep a coming. Even if they don't think you like it. One way or the other, there be opera fans again. Hey, 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 hey. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Sly 3. This is episode number 5. Uh, let's do Sly. Maybe? I don't know what operations do you guys want to see. Uh, let's see here. Tarbo, Guard Duty, Tier 4, Run and Bomb. Guard Duty, I think, is the probably the coolest one there. And then we'll do the Murray one after. Which I think is actually kind of it's the Bentley one here. So yeah, welcome back, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the previous episodes. It's a lot of fun for me, at least. Uh, I really like these games or this game. Let's go. Let's go. Octavio keeps the blueprints to his main tar pumping station in three parts. Each is cleverly hidden behind a painting inside one of his legit coffee houses. Not very subtle, posting a full-time guard in front of a coffee house. Since we destroyed his Ferris wheel, he's gone all out on the security. In fact, he's got all his guards checking up on each other. If we're going to get inside and at the blueprints, we can't raise any suspicion. I'm with you. I'll approach the guard while in disguise and pretend to take the next shift. When the coast is clear, you head inside and swipe the blueprints. With me standing out front, no one will know that something's up. Okay, select button. Yeah, this is awesome. Uh, this is actually one of the cooler features of Sly 3. It's disguises. Hey, you! What's the midnight password? Easy one, here you go. Circle X00. Zero zero. Oh, sorry. <laughs> auto base, auto, auto. Okay, okay. I guess you're the relief shift. Uh, thanks for coming early. I got a big plans for the night. Carnival, a uh, good times, eh? <laughs> I like their accent. I can't believe that worked. You've got the worst Italian accent I've ever heard. But no offense. Head inside and grab the blueprints. No telling how long till another patrol comes by. <laughs> well. The worst Italian accent ever is uh, definitely Brad Pitt in Inglourious Bastards, if you've seen that movie. That's <laughs> such a funny scene. Funny scene indeed. Okay, so let's get the picture. I think First it's this picture. I've ever seen with wall -to -wall laser security. Yeah. Oh, this, it's a coffee shop. Minia. Nice. 12 euros for pizza. Is that a fair price? Or is that quite expensive? I'm not sure. Octavio really is old school if he's using a painting safe. My father used to crack these all the time. The trick here is finding the safe's combination hidden somewhere in the artwork. Might take some searching, but it's sure to be there. Just keep at it. You rem remember this? I think this is John Bisson's uh, cabin, actually. Or John Bisson's area. I already found the code, by the way. It's I think it's 419. But if I remember correctly, you should be able to find it in multiple places. Because, you know, this is a kid's game, and uh, one of these are, is too hard. So I'm just gonna check if I can't. I think it's one in the water. Oh, okay. Anyways, let's do just do this one. Is it 479? 479, maybe? First one is definitely. Four. I don't think this one is either seven or one. Yeah, four seven. Nine. Strong awesome. work. We're still clear up front. I th also think that this that is one of the cooler features. Kind of looking at the picture and finding a code. It's it feels kind of thievy, if you know what I'm saying. Which is uh, something I like in this game. Now, 
What's gonna happen now? I'll meet you at the next coffee shop. Once you take the guard's post, I'll move in. Second verse, same as the first. Oh, ain't that a cool saying? I'm just gonna get out of this suit. Oh, it's right by our hollows. Underca undercover raccoon. Maybe I should try to get a platinum trophy. I already have it on my other account, actually. Hey, you! What's the midnight password? Oh, oh the midnight Becca. password. Here you go. Yeah, it's the same one as last time. Alto base, alto, alto. Yep. Oh, am I glad you're here. Mama's making spaghetti tonight and I'm starving. I'm gonna eat like three, no, four plates of food. I guess that you really like a cooking. Mamma mia, I want to be buried in her sauce. It's a hell. <laughs> that accent, though. Any problems with that guy? Said he wanted to be buried in his mom's pasta sauce. Yeah, that's, uh, that's strange. <laughs> I guess Italians are a bit weird. I feel like this in Slat 2 I could do I could do like two missions per episode. But in Slat 3 I think I'm only gonna be able to do one head. mission. Have you ever had pasta sauce that tasty? I don't want to distract you or anything, but I just don't think I've ever had cooking that good. Are we like missing out on a whole universe of flavors here? Nine six eight. Uh I think this is the swamp. In Sly One, maybe. Anyways, nine six eight. Nine six and eight. <laughs> I like how it's flying at him. All right, two out Kinda of three. No Almost sense. there, partner. Ah, that's a little loophole. Perfect. I think this will. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's one more and then we're done. As you just said. You know, maybe there's a good Italian restaurant around here. Enough with the sauce! Keep your focus, we're on a job here! Thugs everywhere! Death around every corner! You're right. We got one more coffee house to hit, then we're done. Yes, now you're talking sense! And then we eat. <laughs> sure. Okay, this should be the last one. I don't. Uh, do I have time for another mission after this? I'm not sure. Maybe, if it's a short one after. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I want to do two missions in an episode per episode, which I did in most of slide 2, uh, but I don't think I get the time, really. Halt! What's the Carnivale password? Kid stuff, here it is! Carnivale. Tenor base, tenor, tenor. Okay. Yeah, you know the code, but what's my nickname? <laughs> There's only one Tony B on the payroll, and I'm Famous in the family. I'm a new uh, Just got called in from Roma. They know me in Rome. I'm practically the mayor of organized crime in Rome. You telling me you never heard my nickname, Dave? Uh, my cell phones are going off. I should take this call. It could be the boss. Yeah, okay. Talk to some of the other guards in the area and see if any of them know Tony B's nickname. Are you there? What's the midnight password? Here's the password slide. Sweet. It's the same one as before Alto as we done like Alto the third Alto. for the third Sorry time. Sorry about that. Okay, you're legit. Hey, you know Tony B's nickname? Tony B? That cannoli. He's a, what's it called? A egomaniac. I don't know nothing about him. Don't wanna know. Okay, maybe we have to ask one more guard. This bird, maybe? Yeah, I think maybe he knows it. Hey, you! Ferris wheel password, quickly! Uploading you the password! 
Diese Pisse. Soprano, alto, alto, soprano. Yep. Yep. That's the password. Sometimes I forget them, you know. You and me are both pal. Hey, uh, you know what the Tony B's a nickname is? <laughs> yeah, that fathead likes to call himself Tony the Killer B. What an idiot. I couldn't agree <laughs> more. Nice job getting the nickname. You're nice. really fitting in with these. Halt! Tell me the daytime password. Come on, I was just here. Transmitting password. Alto, Is alto. Base, base. Sorry about that. So, big shot, what's my nickname? Oh, come on, everyone's a heard of Tony the Killer B. You're at the terror of every player grounder from here at the Sicily. Ha ha ha, real funny. Least I'm not on guard duty during Carnival. Who's got the last laugh now, tough guy? <laughs> Me, that's who. Okay, a Tony B. Huh. <laughs> Don't take too long. If that guy comes back to chat, I'm out of here. <laughs> See that one. All right. Uh, time for the last you got picture. Real skill with this art decryption, Bentley. It always takes me like oh, 20 minutes to figure those things out. You're just flying through them. Yeah, it's because I'm the best. Oh, this is uh, from uh, slide two. The Contessa had out. Pretty sure. 113. One, oh come on. 113. One, Easy peasy. Get out of there! You must have been rigged to an alarm. Are you kidding? Oh my god. Why do I suck at this? Get out of there. It must have been rigged to an alarm. Go. Bentley, go. Bentley, go fast. No, no, no. Run. What do we do now? We need to hide out back in the safe house. That alarm is attracting all kinds of guards. Agree. We've got the blueprints to the tar vacuum. Our work here is done. Yeah, so we just gotta run. Really? Let's go, Bentley. That didn't work. Die. Perfect. Job complete. Okay, it looks like I'm just not gonna ah, have time for another mission. Safety of the safe house. <laughs> See if I can buy maybe something here before we end. Yeah, I can buy a lot of stuff. Push attack level one. Uh, I wanna buy that shit. Maybe I can just. No, steal from one guy and then have enough. This guy that always spawns over here. Oh god, fuck that. Okay, now we can see how hard it is to kill one of those guys as live. Which is very hard. There we go. Is there anyone I can steal from? This guy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Silver watch. It's bad enough. It's enough. Mm. Yeah, let's go in there. The push attack is a great attack. And it also is like the levels. So the thing is, we're not quick triangle and do this. That's triangle square. Then that triangle and circle for a push deck, which I just got. And after a while, you can kind of click triangle and then triangle again for like level two. And if you click triangle three times, it's level three, which you have to buy all of them. So you know, but th that's one of the best attacks in the game. 
this one and this one and after a while you get triangle X so yeah that's about that thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this episode and I would like to see you in the next one thanks for now and goodbye